Hi there, Wargamers. Dan, WK here, bringing you a, um, another vlog series. This one is on Gasland, as you probably tell by the actual um, title of the video. Um, but what is Gasland? Gasland is um, basically what it says in the book, a post-apocalyptic vehicle combat. That's a strange one to come out, it didn't sound right at all, but we'll carry on anyway. So, well, as you can probably guess, it's... Um, Based on um, matchbox type cars um, or Hot Wheels, depending on your on your flavour uh, or, or branding or whatever other ones you've managed to find. So, uh, without further ado, let's get on to actual um, we'll have a quick through quick through the the rule book, and we'll then we'll go into my little journey of um, of building some um, death races, as it were. So. Lovely little artwork in front of uh, two people uh, racing for their lives. Um, so the the basis of this game is um, that Mars was colonised uh, back in the late um, I think I think seventies or something like that, and um, basically all the money went to Mars. All the money is in Mars, and um, Earth is a waste ground. It's basically. Um, been nuked by the by the people who live on Mars because they uh, didn't like it. So let's have a look. Yeah, so 1969 is when obviously when the moon landing happened, and then 76 is when we got to Mars apparently, and then uh, they took over in 1991. We all remember that one, and uh, 1999 Mars attacks. Is that when the film came out as well? An Earth collapse. And then uh, 2008 is when Gasland's TV show, so it's like a ultra uh, violent uh, TV series, kind of, kind of like um, Running Man type thing. So um, or Death Race as a film that also but not that was also some quite a and all there. So we've got nice nice diagrams, nice uh, layout of the book. It's a really nice and simple game. Not um, this book cost me about nine pound, so. Um, or 12 if you get it off of Amazon Prime. So, there's also uses for, for um, these two uh, Devil's Run cars that I've had painted up for a while and, and never used because I've never really got around to finishing the, the, um, the miniatures from that game. I don't, I've got loads of miniatures from that game as well. So, more new releases life for these, for these guys. So, that'd be quite cool to have that. So let's get um, stuck into the actual um, miniatures made. So the first one I uh, kind of crafted up with this one. Uh, after doing, let's do a quick number zoom. After doing, um, obviously these painting yet. After doing like a, a search on YouTube, was, uh, I can't, can't remember the name of the video. I'll probably pop it up in a little um, uh, notation here um, to whose channel I saw it on. But it was like using electrical parts for like um, motors and. Um, and whatnot. Now this was originally just had a like pieces of metal sticking out, but I wanted it to make like a like gun barrel, so I uh, added some gun barrels, a bit of things, and it's obviously got there was like a bit of plastic uh, mold in here for an actual vehicle that had some weird, wonderful bits and bobs on which I got rid of, which I, and then I had a bit didn't go too too much on the old detail, so a bit of a uh, bit of armor there and a bit of metal grate in there and that thing so and a, a few bits of plastic card here and there to add some detail obviously like uh, put the armor up the windscreen um, the next one is the one I I bought as well not no, this is a Hot Wheel one this is really this this just yelled it out for um, for post pocket use because it's like oh we're suit engine back here I added grills and whatnot and an, an armored armoured front window with a slit for vision. I just got bits of sprue here for um, for the guns themselves and some barrels there. Add some more um, plastic card for the front to make the bumper a bit more um, menacing. So I've got a meshed up grill there as well and another mesh on the window there to a bit of armour. Now the next two um, because those were like Hot Wheels cars or Matchbox cars I like bought from from the pound shop um, for well, for office pound. But these two were like were like um, some cars I um, got out of, out of a box of uh, Matchbox cars I got from eBay. Um, but before we go too close to them, I'll just um, 
bring over the oh, huge box of cars. I mean, I mean, you could buy them for like a quid a pop at time, but they just uh, decided to take a punt on this, and there was like some, some absolute gems in there. So it was like, um, where is it? Well, this this one here, this this Porsche, which is one of going to be uh, tight uh, up's the wrong word, but. Apocalypse them up and um, Mad Max in there we go. That, that's a good verb. And there's this one as well, uh, like a rally or um, a NASCAR car type thing. Yeah. So that one's going to uh, get some attention as well. And it also, um, it's like loads of little gems like that thing looks like just something that would be do well as a. Uh, Post pocket cars like weird, weird and wonderful cars there, like this one, whatever this is. So it's well worth taking a, a punt on um, random vehicles. Uh, I think it, like it was, I think it was like a, a fiver that cost me and some money for postage. There's another a, a van there. So it's like the more mon more mundane vehicles, which are and also these weird and wacky ones, which is stuff I find useful. There's like loads of stuff I can dig into there, and it. Um, Worth them to make um, make terrain out of. So let's get back onto the actual um, two little jet. Well, I say gems. This wasn't really a gem, really. This one. It was just a, just a random, boring car. I wanted. I wonder. Uh, it's a muscle car, I think, but it's um, some. It's not a um, outrageous car that you sometimes like. Like this one to get from Hot Wheels. I mean, it's nothing. It's not overly outrageous, but it's um, it's not. Norm, it's not, it's not something you probably find in the po apocalypse mobile, but this one was like, um, yeah, for lack of a better word, a normal car. So, grilled up the windows. I mean, I even, I even put some paper on the inside because the, the windows weren't fully complete, so I didn't want to have to worry about the interior. I uh, put some armoured slits in the window, a um, bit of armour plate. You can't really, see, yeah, we can just about see that out. There's actually two, two levels of um, plate in there. And um, like a ram there, and even made him make made. I know it's a bit out of scale, but I made myself a minigun out of um, styrene rod. So he's got like um, eight one millimeter um, styrene rods and a two millimeter one in the middle, um, got all glued together and, and um, slapped onto this piece of um, uh, square styrene that I cut off an angle and then put plastic card round. So I'm quite impressed with that, that minigun, how that came out. I mean, it's a bit oversized of the vehicle, but hey, who cares. And then the last one is... Um, um, first time I've ever used these components, which are like... Um, let's wait for it to focus. There are um, this is two halves of a smoke launcher from a, a, a Chaos... Um, I thought okay, a Chaos tank. Which um, I thought fit the part of um, missile launchers or missile rocks or rockets quite well a um, bit of armour there to add on to things and obviously there's, there's two like wire things there going there a bit more armour on the side again more of this uh, meshing for the windows to make it look like it's a bit more armour on the side and I made a, another little bumper there also the um, these idea for rivets or whatever it came from we just basically drilled a one millimetre hole and stuck a, a bit of one millimetre um, metal rod in there and just trip, trimmed it off right 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 now so a bit more armour and then um, this um, anyone who's seen Death Race will probably see where I got the idea for this it's um, the it's tombstone so it's basically a big chunk of um, metal on the back it's obviously no part in the game but um, it's just something to do so that's been my little um, little delve into into um, Gaslands. But well, before I go, let's give you a little overview of um, how the kind of works. I mean, there's, there's about reports you can probably look online, but if um, show you the uh, movement system, it's like um, kind of like an what I'd call an X-wing system. So you kind of start at the beginning of your template and move to the end. So it's not. It's not got the, the um, revealers there, so you're not like planning ahead, but you it's got a um, touch it, use it system, so if you touch the template you've got to use it. But anyway, less on that, um, just a little um, little brief overview of what we're getting, uh, what little project I'm starting now. 
and hopefully you never know I might actually finish this one alright guys thanks for watching this has been Dan definitely Kane bringing you a, a, a little insight into Gaslands and uh, the model I'm, I'm knocking up for it ok guys thanks for watching S subscribe uh, if you haven't and uh, drop comments below and all that stuff see you later guys